Stand by me. What is it about this film that has made it stay a staple of golden cinema to me since seeing it at age 14? I never quite understood this film. In a sense, I understand it completely. Its words and message and meaning and lessons. But at the same time, I can only end up giving what I have taken from this film. The word presents itself as a look into a young adolescent boy's eyes. Gordy Lachance is going through a tough time. He feels disconnected from his father, not at all seen by his mother, and a lot of this just stems from the fact of what the story's main theme is. Death. Death of a loved one, death of innocence, death of childhood, and the rise of growing up. I guess in many ways, when I saw this film at the apt age of young 14, its message was clear to me then as it is now. That reality comes biting in and that our own mortality can be taken in a blink of an eye. That we may be that boy down that back hollow road, laying there, dead, no longer alive to experience this world. It was not Gordy's first revelation of death. He was suffering through grief at his own brother's untimely demise. Denny is the person that is always on the back of Gordy's mind. Even though his thoughts about his brother are also coupled together with the feeling of unacceptance by his father, Gordy finds a father-like figure in his childhood friend, Chris Chambers, be it that or a brother-like relationship that he had once had with Denny. Chambers is there to boast Gordy on in his passion to be a writer. Chambers is the one that tells him that he wishes he could be his father so Gordy wouldn't waste his God-given gift. I believe it is those words and support that later on showed Gordy as an adult, writing as a career and living his passion. But it is also for the remembrance of this event that we learn about the main characters and the different status and lives they lived as young boys in the ending decade of the 50s. This is very much the centre point of the movie as it is him that often takes the lead and the charge and guides the gang often with his moral support and comforting words. It is him that stands up to the antagonist Ace first, comforts Gordy in his hour of despair as the main character comes to terms with how he feels in his own self inadequacy in his father's eyes. But the story in the end wraps up and shows that this is truly a journey piece, with the destination being that much more enriching when we see all of what Gordy goes through in trying to accept himself and in ways become a man as he steps into teenagehood. It is Gordy that holds the gun at Ace, daring to shoot him and only him if the young man tries to take the body. It is Gordy that takes the risk of being later gotten back with his gun by the older teens. But it is often through this moment that we see that this is not the same kid that started the long walk to the dead body that is still with us now. As when they see the body on the ground and the camera gazes over each of their expressions, the impact and message is what is felt. He was a living kid, just like them, a boy that would never grow older now, frozen at the age of 12 forever. When the four boys see him, they see themselves in him. The idea suddenly becomes a reality, that death comes to all, even them. And moments later, Gordy is given the choice to honour that reality, as he puts his life in danger with the very real threat of Ace in an almost nihilistic way. When you hear the gunshot, you know that this is the climax. It doesn't need action or fighting or even yelling and shouting. The tension is thick. The moments are suspenseful as Gordy stands up against the tall, cold figure of dangerous authority and simply says with his eyes, Try me. That is what I feel this movie does brilliantly. It is a coming of age tale that truly sets the bar and shows what a movie can be when its focus is not on explosions or action scenes or fights, but on the bonds we make that we remember for the rest of our lives. The moments grown up that shaped and molded us into the people we are now, and the impact our decisions make in leading us to a course of leadership in our own right. I feel Gordy really shows that he can stand for what is good, what is the right thing to do in a world of opposition that just wants to get fame or money or an easy way to self actualization which in the end is just self-degradation. Stand By Me is the very premise of its title, 
about standing by someone and not faltering in the eyes of the enemy. It's about standing for others when they can't stand for themselves. And it is about being strong and learning strength through trials of life that may not seem like they are there, but are only realized having been gone through in self-reflection years after the event. I guess the enemy shows this in all its hidden depths, and many more things can be taken from it, which is why I feel it still holds up as a classic piece of storytelling and film, and one which I feel many will realize reflects their lives growing up or remember growing up, whether in the 50s or the 2010s or time itself.